All right, everyone, welcome to the channel. Cowboy Trades here. Let's talk about Bitcoin's next move. What are my price targets and what is my next trade? Diving right in on the weekly time frame, looking at the volume profiles. We pulled up this chart a couple of days ago. I was prepping you for the upcoming FOMC meeting. We mentioned this in the stock market lows may not be in two days ago. Let's roll this clip. This could correlate to Bitcoin retesting the point of control over on our fixed volume profiles, basically a $1,000 pump up to 20k before much lower price targets. So let's see how this age, point of control 20,000, as you can see this is still here, this was the point of control, this is where the most amount of buys and sell orders were, this is where the open interest in the market was, Bitcoin's previous all time high, diving into the daily time frame, what happened on that FOMC rally, where did we come up to 20,000 and got a rejection, I feel like MM Crypto because I'm going to be out here saying exactly as predicted all the way down until we make new lows. So on the four hourly time frame, what's changed? Nothing's changed as you can still see. Lower lows and lower highs. Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. This was a little bit of a deviation over here, but you can still see this is lower lows, uh, lower highs from here. And as you can see yesterday, we made lower lows. And what is the next trade for Bitcoin? Well, I think we're about to make another lower high. So where am I going to be shorting from? Let's talk about it. I'm going to be shorting from right here. Before I recorded this video, Bitcoin was at 19,250. I shorted. Now I'm recording. Let's talk about it. Let's start off on the higher time frames. Why am I shorting? On the daily, we've just broken down and made new lows. We've also come down to the 786 Fibonacci and we've broken beneath it for multiple days and we're currently retesting it. Where is the 786 at approximately? 19,250. That is a couple of reasons why I'm shorting from this level. Number two, forget this is a Fibonacci. Let's remove all the data. Let's put this horizontal ray on these lows down here. Mark this as green as support. Now, let's forget about what happened, what's happening right now. Let's look back. So we made new lows over here, 17,600. Everyone's talking about how the lows are going to hold. I personally don't think so. But let's look at what's going on here. From the lows, we had a jump up. People were deciding here, you know, are we going to make new lows at this point? Or are, are we going to bounce and go on this crazy rally? Well, we bounced and we went on this rally. Why did we bounce? Well, as you can see, not talking about these fibs, we started putting daily candle body closes down here for support. Yes, we wicked through them, but then we went on a rally. We started making higher highs. What did we do? We came back candle body closes, testing this as support. This, this precise level right here, 19,250 approximately, is the reason why we went on this rally up to 25,200. What's happened in the past couple of days? We've broken beneath it. We've come back up. We've retested it as resistance today, and we're stuck underneath this. Now, I'm not saying that we can't go a little bit higher than 19,250, but for me, low leverage short is starting right now. You can see the last time we broke beneath this, we made lower lows, we bounced up and made lower highs, uh, but we didn't really have a rejection point here. You know, we came above this, we sat above it, and we continued. Right now, it kind of seems like we're a little bit stuck. Let's talk about a few other reasons on the lower time frames. Diving into the four hour, let's clean this up and let me show you what I see. As you can see, we keep on running into these four hourly EMA ribbons. We bunk our head against them, we come down, we come back again, we break down, we come back again, we break down. You can basically see every single time we come into these, you know, whether we have these slight deviations or not because of these FOMC meetings, you're still making lower lows and lower highs every single time you come into these. On the four hourly time frame, it looks like a reversion to the mean is taking place. If you don't know what that is, that is where you're breaking down. Well, to the downside, this is what it means. When you're breaking down, you catch up. You have to pump back up. You have to revert back to the mean, come into these EMA ribbons, uh, retest them as resistance once again, and continue the breakdown. This is not a new phenomenon. We'll continue doing this. We'll continue breaking down, continue having these baby bounces that bulls absolutely get out of bed for and then get wrecked the next day later. But as you can see, these lower lows and lower highs will keep on proceeding every time we have these reversions to the means on the four hourly EMA ribbons. Let's remove the four hourly EMA ribbons. This whole market while it's not you don't particularly have many clear m patterns the eminess is there and by that i mean you can just see this it's just emmy m m lower lows lower highs you just keep on getting this m's it's terrible. It's horrible. This chart looks disgusting. We keep on making all these emming patterns. So uh, with that said, it looks like we're going to be breaking down on the lower time frames here. And you can also see if we remove these EMA ribbons, uh, we've got resistance from here. We've got resistance coming in from here. And I don't know why this is green. 
if we're comparing these, you've also got resistance running in here. So at this moment in time, like I said, I'm shorting with low leverage. But if we do come up to this target here, 19,360, I will be adding more shorts. If we push up higher today, 19,630, I will be adding new shorts. If we push up to 19,840, I will be adding new shorts. On the daily time frame, your EMA ribbons are coming in at 20,000. If we come up to 20,000 again, I will be adding new shorts. So uh, basically, the higher we go, the more I will be shorting on a higher leverage. So right now, I'm using a free X leverage, not financial advice. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing. Uh, I've also been telling you about my price targets. Nothing's changed. 17,300. We've been talking about this for weeks. What is the price target in the higher time frame? It is all the way down here. 1.236 Fibonacci at the 15,800. This is when we're drawing from Bitcoin's low to the highs. This is once again, you can see this beautifully rejecting from the 786 Fibonacci. The market will be calling for us to come down to this 1.236, ladies and gentlemen, 15,800. And if you needed any more reasons to short, whales are selling. You know, we've been talking about these basic signals uh, for the past couple of weeks on this channel. We've really been emphasizing follow the whales. Do not follow retail. People keep on posting, oh, Bitcoin wallets with one Bitcoin keep on accumulating. Who cares? Do not follow retail traders, follow smart money. Smart money is selling. They've been selling for a while. So there we go, my friends. That's all I've got for you for Bitcoin today. Make sure to follow me over on Twitter. I mentioned this over on here, but obviously yesterday I was busy. I wasn't able to update you after the FOMC. I prepped you for it in the videos nonetheless. Some of you may know this if you do follow me over on Twitter, Discord, etc. But I do training Kenjitsu, Yaijitsu, and I do practice Kendo. So sometimes I'm busy on Wednesday evenings, Friday evenings, it depends. But nonetheless, hope to see you over over on Twitter, my friends. This is why it's here, so I can update you when I'm not at the computer. Cowboy out. See you in the next one. Peace.